No. Okay. Good attempt. Good attempt. I keep going too far back. We are we are here. We've got a uh, we are filling in for the big two. What do you got, Chris? We're uh, marginally marginally happy to be together to uh, compensate. What do you think we got tonight, Kev? Well, tonight we have a level from Burnout. This is week 199. Um, and this is actually Fernap's first time at ROMHack races, so I'm not really sure what to expect from them. Uh, with the level named Automatic Transmission, which bodes well. Uh, very excited to see what they have, though, but uh, should be good. Just uh, to clarify, um, we are filling in for Glitch Cat tonight, who is out for the weekend. So I hope they're having uh, a good time with what they need to do. Uh, my name is Kezcade, and with me as well is the lovely Amethyst Rocks. Hi, that's me. Hello. That's her. So I hope everyone here is having a great time, having a great night. We got a, a great race ahead for all of you uh, from Fernat for week 199. <clears throat> uh, today's race is a five star with the length of the longest section being four out of ten, the most complex obstacle being a six out of ten, and the most difficult trick to execute a four out of ten. So there should be some difficulty. There should be a lot of fun as well out of this it's one. It's like a solidly intermediate level, presumably. A solidly intermediate level is a perfect way to put it. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, testers for this week. Let's give a big shout out to the testers of this level. Uh, we got all the low end, Kerr, SQL, Infection, Mithroyanair, who is apparently a new volunteer. So thanks for joining the ranks. Thanks, Smith. Dark Nine, Shoujo, and RB Pimlico. Hey, look at all those friends. All those amazing friends. So really appreciate that. As well as an additional shout outs to uh, D4, Osu Mario Cartman, Doc, and the rest of the ROM Hack Races team. As well as Glitch Cat for uh, asking us to fill in for him and allowing us to do this. We really appreciate that. Thanks, Glitch. And thanks, Osu, for uh, filling in for Restream tonight. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. I know that there had to be some uh, last-minute changes to this, so uh, everyone, thank you very much. And we're hopefully, and by hopefully, I mean we're going to have an excellent race for all of you tonight. The rest of the team, name them. All of them. They're all beautiful people. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. So we're going to be starting this in a minute or so, so... Uh, sit back, relax. We got a great race ahead of you. Once again, uh, this is Fernap's first time at Romhack Races, and the first time either one of us has seen a level from them, so not really sure what to expect, and that means you probably don't know what to expect either, so this should be exciting. Yeah. Not often we get a, a completely fresh creator uh, poking around, yeah. so this is very it's exciting. exciting. It's very exciting to have uh, new people constantly learning uh the art of making rom hacks and throwing into the ring so very good time uh a quick shout out next week is week 200 which is a big number and with a great cool guest that allegedly made a level so everyone look out for that week as well uh but before that we're about to start with week 109 with fur nap so about 20 seconds we're going to be seeing this it's a big number Allegedly. One. allegedly. Allegedly a big number. It's allegedly plus one bigger, so. Yeah, also that's math, which uh isn't against the rules here, but we uh we it's frown upon off. Yeah, it's your it's it it's your day off, that's fair. It's my day off. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're about to be starting the race now. So Alright, let's see go. what we got. No math, I'm sorry, it's my first time. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got from Fernat. Mario will inexplicable change jump gimmick. Time. I do love inexplicable gimmicks. It looks like every time Mario is going to jump on something, it's going to change spin type, which ah, is ah fascinating. Uh, some kind of force motor skills. So, a a, a little bit of a a Ooh. change up in the motor skills dynamic. So this is exciting. This is very interesting. 
And we're starting off with four very strong racers. And since it's the start of the race, like pretty much we're going to be seeing people learning as fast as they can and yeah. also building mechanical um, consistency with the sections. Trying to get as much information on their attempts as possible over the yeah. other racers. So this is interesting. We're starting up with a saw, and every time they bounce off the saw, they're going to be switching back to a, a normal jump. So uh, this is actually a really interesting use of like the motor skills dynamic versus just uh, manually changing your jump types. Fernap is forcing the players to change their jumps according to their obstacles uh, automatically, and the players are very quickly learning how to adjust for that. Um, and this is also a mechanic that Motor skills is, is a fairly common mechanic, but usually you have full control of it. So these players are probably learning right now how to uh, deal with it automatically uh, for the obstacles. The automatic transmission. The, the, that the is name. The yeah. That, we did it. We, we put we the puzzle figured... pieces together. We did it. We did it. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> it's a beautiful Saturday now. So... <clears throat> Uh, very interesting so far. It looks like the racers are relatively at the same place so far. Uh, yeah. People are trying to figure out exactly what to do with this beetle at the end here. Yeah. It's going to be a bit a puzzly. This this uh, based off of the information that we know, it seems like this level is going to be a little bit more puzzly with trying to figure it out. So, the better you are at figuring out puzzles in a SMW uh, Kaizo level, the faster you might get this. But um, someone who might be a little bit slower to figure out a puzzly setup, but can execute it every time, will probably still be able to pull out even or ahead, depending on what kind of obstacles we have going. So, this is very exciting so far with a very even race. Oh, Marcy has gotten the, the shell throw. There we go. There you go. And that's the kind of the thing with puzzle type setups is it might take a minute to figure it out. But once you figure it out, you can sometimes and uh, execute it every time, which is exactly what's going to help you pull ahead in a situation like this. So looking good so far. Dark Knight says there's some brainy stuff in this. You love to see it. Massive brain setups. Massive brain. That's why I don't uh, race. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> I I know I know do do the the, the think good. Yeah, I, I don't I talk, I don't think. You know, this is all just automatic speaking for me right now. <laughs> so haven't seen a checkpoint yet, but we are seeing players starting to get a little bit further through these puzzly setups. Um the 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 setups seem to be set up in a way that makes a lot of sense for how the force motor skills flows. And the um, indication is also, looks like it's doing a, a good job of leading the players in the direction that Fernap wants. So from what we've seen so far, this looks like a really solid showing for Fernap's first ROM hack race level. So this is looking really good. Yeah, it looks very, pretty well indicated. It's just, uh, I, I think the racers have to work against a lot of muscle memory right now. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It, like we were saying, motor skills is a fairly common mechanic. If you don't know what motor skills is, if you're if this is your first time watching ROM hack races or uh, you're you're newer to the community, motor skills is the term that we use for the uh, custom mechanic where Mario can change their jump type midair um, by hitting uh, one jump or the other to, to switch. Um, in this level, it's it's basically forcing the players to do that without them making the inputs themselves uh, to get more clarification of that. Marcy's got the shell jump. Yeah, Marcy make, currently making, making, for it. making some moves in the upper uh, right, so make sure you keep a watch out for that. She did die, but she does have a lot of information, so she's gonna if she can get back there quick, she can start uh, figuring out the next section. Uh, but all, the other players currently on screen, and I don't know exactly how many racers are in this race tonight. There are many more racers than are shown on this, uh, the, the stream currently. Um... The other three racers that are on stream right now are also uh, doing quite well. It's a very puzzly big brain setup. You fail me in Halcyon, probably around the same spot for trying to figure out what to do after throwing the uh, the beetle shell there. Yeah. So, everyone looking very strong right now, and 
all it really comes down to is one player figuring out a section before another player just being able to execute either the one time with a one shot or being able to get there very consistently. So in a race like this, especially with how close everyone is, no one's even gotten a checkpoint yet. Um, it really is anyone's game at this point. So players just trying to build some consistency as they get back to the sections they were in uh, we're gonna... to figure out some of the, the big brain strats. And bring in uh, Nathan in the bottom left. Welcome in, Nathan, to the crew. Yeah, once again, not exactly sure how many people are racing tonight, but I know that there are a handful of people off uh, who are also gaming out of their mind. Ooh, nice shell bump set up. 16 racers. Kelkin, thank you for the clarification. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Marcy did a spin jump on the Goomba. But made a nice break for it at the end there. You know, it's it's the thought that counts. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. So with Marcy um, having her situation right there, that does give the other racers a chance to try to make up some ground and get back uh, to try to get to that section as well and try to figure out how you proceed from this point. So <laughs> that's what happens when you kill Shoujo. I can't believe that is. A That's sentence that only makes sense if you have a lot of context. If you... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I have the context. It's okay. <laughs> context, as usual, key in the Mario community. <laughs> for clarification, Shoujo is the name used for a couple Paragoombas in Shoveda-based related situations. So... <laughs> Sometimes I think about all the jargon and in-jokes that go into anything that makes Kaizo even remotely humorous. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, did Marcy? Oh, Marcy got the checkpoint. Nice. Marcy I in the checkpoint. There we go. Too busy heck Talking posting. about jargon. <laughs> it is. I am learning as this is my first time commentating a race with four screens. I am learning that it's not easy to pick up on all four screens at the same time. But we do see Marcy going into the next section, which is exciting. Uh, and that gives the other racers all working on the first section still. Uh, but they will be getting there shortly also. Uh, but this gives Marcy a head start to try to figure out what this next section is before other people get a chance to oh, pop this, in. So This bubble jump is something. <laughs> yeah, this is why Juz didn't join the race tonight. <laughs> You hate to see it, but that's okay. So that's interesting. The the bubble setup, since the motor skills changes your setup every time, you actually go through several different spin uh, jump types through the bubble, which is a really uh, interesting mechanic. Modified bubble disassemblies. No jank whatsoever. Fascinating. Modified disassembly. Yeah, but Juz is still kind of hurt inside, so. Uh, we're going to bring in... Uh, we're going to bring in a Jank Pickle to the uh, lower right. Welcome in, Jank Pickle. So Marcy still has a pretty big knowledge. Uh, uh, you know, words are hard. She's She's got a little bit of a knowledge advantage here uh, while the other racers are still joining in. Um, let's see what kind of things that Fernand has going in this section. We got slope, so uh, that's exciting. You always love to see a slope in... In Super Mario World, because that oh, always leads for extreme fun. Really interesting that you keep your uh, your butt state through that. The butt state, the most powerful Mario state, of course. <laughs> Correct. In Super Mario World, uh, if you enter a slide and go into the butt state, the butt slide, whatever whatever uh, term you you choose, is actually a really strong uh, phase that Mario can be in, where you can kill pretty much anything, uh, things that you normally wouldn't be able to, at least easily. Uh, so, really interesting use of, of slopes and... Oh, well, we got a cape now. The McCain. We got a cape, so... This seems to be a... Both sections seem to be fairly uh, big brainish, But the execution doesn't seem to be, like, insanely high. So, it, it's a really nice combination. I think that makes for a really nice race level. Oh, we got... Ah, we uh, got... All yeah. of a sudden, we just got... Uh, a bunch of people over here, so welcome in, crew. Yeah. 
Chang Pickles got the H, and we're bringing in You Fail Me to the uh, lower left, and B2's also got an H. So. All right, so we got ourselves a race. So everyone's going to be trying to make up some time as Marcy has a little bit of a knowledge advantage as she's doing some really interesting disco shell with uh, Potaboo mm -hmm. uh, to try to make sure that the disco shell doesn't get destroyed. She has to switch back and forth. Interesting. Ooh, so that's gross. very interesting. I like it. I also <laughs> enjoy it. And somewhere out there, BK shed a single tear. <laughs> Um, so in the upper right, as you were seeing uh, with with Marcy, uh, with a when she gets the cape state, I don't think any of the players have gotten a cape yet. Uh, the in the spin state in the cape, landing on a coop, it actually uh, put her into a fly state, so she could start flying straight from that situation. You're about to see it here again as she gets the cape in the upper right corner. So let's check out what she figures out from this. We got a little bit of a waiting section. Yep. Oh, what's after Still. this? What do we got? We got oh. death. Death. Oopsie. <laughs> so. Well, Marcy, Marcy's got a little bit of a of a time and knowledge advantage, but any of these racers could pick this up at any time. We've got some really, really strong players on the yeah. screen right now. Taking a look at uh, Jank Pickle, You Fail Me, and B2, they all appear to be like relatively around the same spot. Uh, with You Fail Me on the bottom left, uh, getting to the disco shell section, unfortunately, uh, made a, a small error and died, but they'll be able to get back there fast, so. This disco shell section I do find very interesting. Um, you either love or hate disco shells, but with the fact of having to, uh, with your force jump changes and going on to, having to use the Podaboo up above to maintain the, the disco shells, you know, life, essentially. Um, Halcyon also has the H on this section. Uh, oh, there we go. We have a lot of really good racers tonight. Unfortunately, we can't stuff them all on the screen all at once, but... Confirmation of at least five racers on the second half, so things are heating up. So Marcy back in the top right corner, back in the Cape State. Um, Currently the furthest, so let's see what she can figure out in this next section. She's trying to make sure that she doesn't accidentally lose a cape pump or something to fall in. And commentators curse you love <laughs> or hate to see it, depending on your point of view. <laughs> and I'm sure she'll watch the VOD back and she will give me a DM later about that. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be allowed to say anything ever. I'm she never being allowed silence. back. I'm never being allowed back on ROM Hack Races again. So thank you, everybody, for my first and last time on ROM Hack Races. It was, as always, uh, not an honor to work with you guys. It was a situation. <laughs> so both B2 and Jank Pickle on the uh, Disco Shell. Uh, B2 just getting the cape as well. So let's see if they can figure out this next section. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pleasure seeing all of you in Twitch chat. Unfortunately, I'm never getting allowed back here again. Marcy in the top right, back in the cape section. We currently, I don't believe we've seen much past this. Nice cape slam. Cape slam to bring a uh, Paragoomba it's into uh, a block. We can get a Yoshi. Preview pipe. Nice preview pipe. Probably Very needed classy. preview pipe. <laughs> Most likely. Uh, Interesting. Ooh, Marcy's seen the big H. We did get confirmation that the level ends. <laughs> Always good. Always a, a good sign. <laughs> but that was very interesting. So if, if you don't know, when you land on a Yoshi, it maintains uh, your jump state, assuming that you haven't landed on the ground since then. And uh, I'll need to double check to see where the Yoshi was. But dismounting the Yoshi in the air, um, there were a couple different jumps that could be done. Actually, OK, so we land on it. It's already on the ground. So disregard that. Um, but interesting. Hey, you fail me making a run at it right now. So Cape. taking that knowledge and starting to pick up on that it might not be a traditional Yoshi dismount. Just based on the objects that are around it. Um, but everyone doing 
about near there. Um, you fail, you me, fail in me the preview pipe now. Yeah, let's see, let's see if, if you can make fail a good me run of it. in the bottom left. Let's see if they can uh, figure out what's going on here. <laughs> Making sure they've got the right jump. <laughs> it's definitely not an intuitive uh, ending because of of how when you land on things. Checking uh, again. Changing. Smart oh, move. Marcy actually. figured it out though. Oh, GG, Marcy. Marcy. GG Marcy taking that. Uh, sub 16 minutes. Very good. Nice job. Uh, with Marcy. you filming very close as well. Um, having the same issue that Marcy did on our first time there, which is honestly, ex I, I feel like almost expected due to it being a little bit of a big brain move. Marcy, congratulations. Big GG. We got Halcyon uh, coming in for uh, the top right now. Uh, with B2 on the cape section, as well as Jank Pickle. Uh, Jank Pickle losing their cape, unfortunately. Uh, but I was going to say that the fact that you can re-enter this retry, or not retry pipe, but the, um, the, the pipe that lets you see the obstacles ahead, be, using that multiple times just to get confirmation of what you're doing is a really smart move by the racers. Um, just in case, like, they get one chance to look at it, maybe they need another chance. Uh, using that as many times as they need. Maybe looking at it two or three times gives them the one shot that they need. So, very good use. So, we'll see who was going to get the, the second place as Marcy has uh, been the first one to make it out. But still very close for the second place. And honestly, uh, this is a tough level. So they're doing fantastic. Yeah. Everyone's doing real good tonight. It is and very difficult as... to parse exactly what to do at the end. Yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely a bit more of a big brain. And once again, that's why we're on commentary and not racing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, people... It appears as if everyone currently on uh, the stream right now are more or less around the same spot uh, in terms of knowledge and and mechanically through the level. Everyone, I believe, has gotten to the cape section and is trying to figure that out. Um, once again, the end of the level, not entirely intuitive um, with the, the forced motor skills or jump type switching in midair. So it's very, very close so far for who can uh, take the second place. Uh, podium is still available for all the racers. I'm just going to take whoever whoever can figure out to do that that double bop on this mighty next. Yeah. Ten total on the second section. That's a lot of racers. There we go. Confirmation, we have ten people on second section. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much for that update. Thanks, so, very exciting to see who's going to figure out this section uh, next. All right, B2. Because I, I don't know, I don't know about you, but if I was playing this, I might not pick up right away that, because uh, currently up until this point, the forced jump type switching on uh, jump has only been used with One, Mario, two. and I might not have picked up. And you fail me through. GG. Oh, well, I appear to be a little bit behind. Let me refresh. <laughs> Congratulations, you fail me with the second place. Just going to refresh there. I appear to be a little bit behind. Um, but with the most of the level being used with the mechanic as Mario only, um, they might it, I, I might not have picked up right away that you need to actually jump on Yoshi several times. Uh, yeah. Because that's, uh, as far as I know, and I believe it is, that's the first time in the level where you use Yoshi in that way. So, uh, very understandable for that to be a tricky thing to pick up on. Also, we've brought, on, brought in uh, Light Aligns in the lower left now. Welcome in Light Aligns, also working on the uh, final section. This is a two-section level from Furnap. And once again, this is their uh, first ROM hack race level, and as... I don't, I don't know about you, but this is my first time seeing Furnap's work in general, and it looks it looks really good. So I, you should be very proud of yourself, Furnap, for this, for this showing. 
Yeah, great level. Yeah, very interesting level. Very uh, nice play on the motor skills mechanic. Burnout says you bounce on the Paragoomba on Yoshi to start, and you dismount in spin state. We got update that Ender of Games is made to the second section. Many people on the second section now. Lots of friendos. Probably going to start getting uh, waves of people completing the level at some point. Normally yeah. how it goes. Everyone but, wants to come in for the, the hello. Uh, Germed of on the preview pipe in the lower right corner. Let's see if they can figure yeah. this out. One, two. And it looks like they have. Nice. GG Germ Dove. Germ Dove in the bottom right. Getting that 20. Good 20. round number. <laughs> so that was. <laughs> and, uh, and Shank Pickle also completing. GG. Shank Pixel getting it just a second later, it looks like. Uh, extremely close. So I believe that puts us at four. Looks like uh, it. Clear so far. And B2 with the clear, too. I, as soon as I said it would start to clear in waves, people start clearing in waves. Yeah, <laughs> at some point, everyone was very close. Uh, it's just trying to figure out that last part. And once you get an idea of what's going on, like you said, there's just a wave of, of clear. So congratulations, B2, for your, your clear. Very good showing. A reminder that the players in this race are all extremely talented. So it uh -uh, doesn't really matter what place they're in because they all did extremely well. They're all very talented with their <laughs> with their skill sets. And this is a showing of levels and the love of SMW and everyone's doing a yeah. fantastic job. Make sure to go follow these uh, these streamers on their on their channels there. Make sure yeah, you see absolutely. what they're working on. All of the racers that you're seeing, uh, they're all streaming from their own uh, streaming channels. Uh, and you should definitely go give them all a follow. Make sure you, you support the people uh, in the community, both the streamers and racers, but creators and the people behind the scenes at Romhack Races, the people uh, doing a lot of work who deserve tons of attention for making the community as strong and, and wonderful as it is. So thank you, everybody. Barely missed podium, but I feel like you did good. Jank Pickle, you did excellent. Did great. Everyone's done excellent. Nathan in the preview pipe did not do the double bot. Single bop usually good, but not today. Okay. You can't do single bops on a Saturday. <laughs> that's a, that's a Sunday kind of thing. <laughs> Calcine is still trying to puzzle out exactly what to do here. Has once again gone in the preview pipe. I don't know if we mentioned it, but we now have Mangor on the uh, bottom right, a talented speedrunner with games like Quickie One and, and other. So they'll probably be able to get up here along with the other racers as well soon. Uh, everyone on the screen, very strong players. Probably. All the low end, yeah. all the low end says, but what if it's Sunday for you? Uh, well, you know what? Buddy, you can do whatever you want with your life. You can single pop <laughs> as much as you want. Oh. Alcine's still trying to puzzle out exactly what to do in the ending here. Yeah, Nathan in the top left uh, about to go for the ending. Let's see if they get the double bop. Unfortunately, no. It is a single bop. Only all the low end is allowed to single bop today, unfortunately. Mm. I Sunday feel is that, unlimited but... bops. But I can't do anything about it, so... Yeah, we can't do anything about it. We're, we're over here. I'm, I'm constricted by time zones, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. <laughs> so, the race for the next clear is very uh, close, so very exciting. This is a... Uh, while we're waiting for the next player to go in, I would like to give a quick shout-out to uh, shop.romhack... Excuse me, this is my first day speaking English. Shop.romhackraces.com uh, that's still selling the GDQ merchandise, and all of the uh, proceeds from that go to charity, uh, Doctors Without Borders, I believe. Um, confirmation to make sure that that's correct. But we still have all of the GDQ theme merchandise from the SGDQ 2022 uh, ROM hack race, the Legends of the Hidden Temple themed race that you saw a few weeks ago, where Amethyst and I also commentated there, which was a lot of fun. 
Uh, so make sure you give that a, a peruse for some ex excellent artwork made by the Borgie Man, who is a fantastic creator and uh, artist in this community as well. It's very awkward to keep running into each other like this. It really is. I can't believe that this is our life. Yeah, there's oh, BK Nathan. with the... Six. Oh, oh uh, Nathan's Nathan. going... Oh, Halcyon figured it out. I was really Halcyon. distracted by Nathan bouncing yeah. on it like eight times. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> notice that Halcyon got it. <laughs> we never said that you couldn't go for triple or quadruple bop, so they were just True. playing with fire. Uh, um, Halcyon <laughs> getting the win. Congratulations, Halcyon. Or getting a clear, rather. GG, Hal. <laughs> yeah, big GGs for that. Uh, walking Eye coming in uh, in the top right now. For, yeah, this isn't an odd bounce day. Saturdays are for even bounces. Sunday is odd bounces. <laughs> oh, we brought in Walking Eye to the upper right now. One of the many, many racers uh, work on this ending of the second section here. Absolutely. And if you're watching this, this is your first time watching ROM Hack races or you're getting into the community, just know that uh, you can play all these levels yourself at romhackraces.com. You don't have to race if you don't want to. Uh, all of the levels will be available for uh, download after the race, and they might even be up now. I'm not sure. Oh, Nathan. There Nathan we go. getting that clear. The sub 27, you love to see it. That was like <laughs> right before the 27 hit, so good job. Uh, but highly recommend if you like what you see and you're interested in these levels that romhackraces.com, I believe, uh, will have all these levels for you uh, to play at your own leisure. Big backlog of very, very lovely levels from wonderful creators in there. Almost like 199 of them. Really? Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I know. Do uh, you think they'll make another one, like a 200th one? Uh, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of like a one and done situation. Yeah, probably. Pro there's probably not going to be a, a 200th this... race next Saturday by an alleged creator that you definitely want to check out. And next it's... Saturday at the same time, 8 o'clock uh, Eastern. Yo, GG Nathan. Yeah, big GG Nathan. Excellent work. Allegedly. Yeah, we don't... Allegedly. We... We really can't confirm or deny who the creator is. It's just kind of like a, a mystery amongst all. Amongst us, yeah. I can't believe that you're getting <laughs> sus in this. I, I can't believe it. I I'm had to see, I, I I'm took done. the bait. No, I'm I, cool. I, that's it. That's my last <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Now that Kez is gone, we can we can have our, our super secret meeting chat. Surprise, Hi. I'm back. Oh, no, he's here. Software. <laughs> Anyways, we got Chef Boy Eric up in the top left. Welcome in, Chef Boy Eric. Finally, thanks. I I'm glad that Twitch chat is on this side. Of course, they're on my side. I know. Higher than you. Still. It's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> Mangor coming in the bottom right with to the cape section. Light Alliance, who was going for the end bop as well. The end bop, uh, as we've seen, has been a, a complicated thing to see just because usually your first time at the Yoshi bop, you're you're not used to the fact that jumping on Yoshi changes your your state as well. In fact, I even called it wrong at first because I I thought that they were mounting Yoshi in uh, while Yoshi was airborne. I didn't see that Yoshi was actually on the ground, which uh, would maintain the uh the normal jump after you jump off a of yoshi so definitely a tricky situation and mangor unfortunately not getting their yoshi the number one tool in the smw community for all of your <laughs> jump based needs <laughs> Great use of the butt slide in this level. Also a a mechanic that really is true and dear to my heart. Um, so you love it when you see it. We have Chef Boy Eric in the top left going for some cape. Unfortunately, commentator's curse once again. I believe I'm going to be kicked off of commentary for ruining all of the cape parts. <laughs> Raised I am sorry. People, people have, they have a... Uh, uh, ratings for like length of section, 
most complex obstacle, but they don't have a rating for me on commentary, which is a 10 out of 10 in terms of uh, badness for the racers. I'm sorry for cursing. Yeah, they, uh, the they, yeah, I'm going to petition uh, Rom Hack Race to start adding that as the... Yeah, not that you'll not that you'll be invited, but you know. No, I won't be here. I, I I'm officially kicked off the team forever. So, <laughs> once again, thank you all for having me. It's been a pleasure. So we got Mangort in the bottom. Actually, we have both Chef Boy and Mangort in the similar section. Uh, Chef Boy taking the um, the preview pipe to see what they need to do. I believe this is our first time at this section. Uh, Mangor trying to go for it, but also falling victim to the spin jump that I, I believe every single racer has had an issue with so far. Dr. No introducing the Kezcade scale of commentator curseness. <laughs> yeah, that's an important aspect, you know. <laughs> Most weeks are going to be a 0 out of 10, but if you if you get in a race and you see that number go up at all, you better be careful. You need to be prepared. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. One or two have figured it out, but most have died to that. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be very common to die to that. The final uh, Yoshi Ditch obstacle is once again. Uh, the racers haven't had much experience at that point with the um, the jump type switching through Yoshi. On a scale of one to Kez, how are the commentators? You never want to see the commentators at a full Kez. <laughs> I think I think uh, I usually max out at like, you know, point one Kez. I don't usually That's... go very high on the Kez scale. I don't know how you deal with it, honestly. <laughs> I wake up and I don't know how I deal with it. <laughs> Where's Mark? Jank Pickle yeah, says I, I accidentally hesitated skillfully. You know, that's the best kind of hesitation you could do. So let's see how Mangor he. Never mind. I'm sorry. Walk, walking eye trying to go to the <laughs> cave section. Every single time I commentate about someone at the cave section, they they die, and I really yeah, I'm, need, I need I'm to trying learn. to to blissfully ignore until someone uh, Chef Boyark trying to clip <laughs> out of bounds in the grow pipe. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. Do that. Yeah, never go full Kez. It's a 2022 mistake. The scale only goes from 0 to 0 0.1, Emmy. Ah, uh, I see. Well, that sucks for me. It's really awkward. I'm so sorry for your life. <laughs> if you didn't curse the racers, there would be no racers left, and then the stream would end. That's right. We're just trying to help give content. Yeah. People, people want to see the ROM hack races, and what better way to see the ROM hack races by commentator's curse? We're content creators. We're, you know, we're good at this. Okay. Still infinite numbers. <laughs> and if you would like to see the uh, leaderboards for both this level and all previous levels, especially if you uh, are playing these levels in the future and you kind of want to see, out of your own curiosity, how you compare to other members of the community, uh, make sure you can check out the leaderboard at romhackraces.com or uh, exclamation point leaderboard in chat for a link to the current leaderboard. Uh, to see, you know, get a get a, a nice look at some statistics. And by statistics, I mean a number. <laughs> it's a good number, though. It's a really good number. And Gort, uh, trying to figure out how to get past that last, uh, that last obstacle that's been tripping up a lot of racers tonight. Yeah, it's a it's a somewhat unintuitive mechanic. I would definitely have gotten caught up by it. Got a hundred percent. Special fair racing, good lord. Yeah, uh, racing definitely adds a little bit of difficulty. I mean, it, it depends on per person, uh, but I'm sure that there are some uh, racers who, One, in the race, two. might. There we go, Mangor. Mangor taking it. Nice. Congratulations, Mangor. Excellent job. Uh, some racers might have a harder time during a race than others, but um, everyone does an excellent job in the end, so. Everyone's Fantastic doing work. really well tonight. At the end of the day, it's still Kaizo, which is still very hard. <laughs> it's Kaizo, it's difficult, and some players are better at certain kind of things than others. Some are great at puzzly setups, some are better at 
this or that. So when you go into a ROM hack race, you really have no idea what you're getting in for. Some weeks it might be a level that's tuned to your skill set. Sometimes it's not, but at the end of the day, everyone's here to have fun, uh, to celebrate the community and the work of the creators and people behind the scenes, the people that make the code to make these things possible. And it's really just a big celebration of this weird genre of Mario that we can't seem to get enough of. And in the bottom right, we have Ender of Games uh, being brought in uh, after Mangvort's clear. With both Chef Boy Eric and Walking Eye in the top left and right in the cape section, almost neck and neck. Unfortunately, both of them not being able to make it. Uh, Walking Eye dying and Chef Boy not being able to uh, slam into the ground to deal with the Paragoomba. You're allowed to say ROM hacks? Did I say? What did I say? <laughs> but you didn't even say Mario, Mario Maker Jason fan game. Oh yeah, this, this is my time to welcome to the Mario Maker adjacent fan game races. <laughs> Finally making up for all of my mistakes at GDQ. <laughs> Lunar Magic adjacent fan games. You love to see it. <laughs> I can't say it. Fan Mario fan games. Rom heck. Unfortunately, Chef Boy Eric taking a uh, damage boost and being unable to now gain P speed and uh, able to uh, dive into the ground to remove the Paragoomba, but trying to see a little bit further than they can. So the player is currently all about even. With Light Alliance in the bottom left getting the Yoshi, uh, I believe they're going to take the preview pipe. I'm not sure if this if they've been here before or not. I can't remember, but definitely taking the preview pipe to remember. So let's see if they can figure this ending out. Unfortunately, I that looked like an accidental dismount. I, I don't believe that they meant to do that. I uh, I feel like they had the uh, the right idea, but Accidentally dismounting at the end, and unfortunately that means they aren't able to finish the level on that on that go around. Uh, but with Chef Boy Eric in the top left, also back in that spot. Let's see if they can get it. Going back into the preview pipe to double check. Just get a little stressed out when people uh, spend a lot of time there trying to figure it out. I'm like, oh god, please, please figure it out. I want you to do yeah. so bad. <laughs> I want you to achieve great things. Chef Boy in the top left, taking a little bit of time to think about it. Let's see if they can figure it out. Unfortunately, they they go for the uh, the normal one bop that doesn't work out for them. A extremely common thing that people are doing trying to figure out the setup, so completely and 100% understandable. Hopefully they'll figure it out in the next go around. So still anyone's game to take the next victory. Nathan says, I think that was an intended dismount. I tried the same thing to see if I could oh, dismount yeah. on back on the Yoshi. That's fair. That's a, I, that's a very good point. I, yeah, I think Light Alliance is trying to remount the Yoshi in midair, which... Mm, actually, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Looks very difficult, actually. Yeah, so on the bottom uh, left with Light Lines, a few minutes ago, they tried to do the end part and dismounted Yoshi, and I said that I thought that, that might have been accidental, uh, but Nathan says that they believe that they were trying to remount Yoshi because that's something they also tried to do, which is a excellent point and worth pointing out for the thought process of the players. Jeff Boy getting the cape slam, and let's see if they're getting another chance at the, the double bop. This is a very neat mechanic, uh, Fawful. It's a, it's a very neat use of the motor skills mechanic. Oh, I've never ever complicated a setup in my life. <laughs> I have never lied as hard before. <laughs> And 
their games, trying to make sure that they can get this camp slam. I believe in you. I want you to achieve great things, and they'll probably be fine here. Uh, let's take a look at Chef Boy in the top left to make sure that... Let's see how they do. And with a walking eye in the top right, also the same exact spot. So, two options to see a uh, player's reaction to this end. Two. Looks like Chef Boy has gotten Figured it. Figured it out. Figured it Nine. out. GG to Chef Boy Eric. Big GGs all around. And once again, congratulations to all the ra racers who have beaten the level and all the ones who are still working on it. Um, extremely good work from everyone all around with Proto Pizza taking in for Chef Boy Eric now. So, welcome in, buddy. You'll love to see it. Love to see it. My favorite pizza. <laughs> Big GG's, Chef Boy Eric. This is a this is a complicated level. There's a lot of big braining. And like we said, you don't know what you're getting into when you sign up for a ROM hack race. It could be any type of level and some players are going to be able to big brain faster than others. Some might be a little bit more uncomfortable in a big brainish puzzle type level. And uh, them trying to do their best is very commendable. Everyone is very talented here. There's a, a million talented players in the SMW community. So many talented players in the community nowadays. Before. Yeah, the skill ceiling of the community has gone. Uh, ah, uphill. light. Uh, light alliance taking it. I couldn't see it because uh, Twitch was covering it up for me. Thanks, Twitch, but GG like... Yeah, both of us missing that. <laughs> um, I, I looked down and I, I hadn't seen anything and all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's a credits right there. So, big <laughs> GG's to Light Alliance for that. With Egoria. I, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce her name. I've never known how to pronounce her name, but... I'm, I'm glad he took the bullet on that pronunciation for me. I think it's Agaria. <laughs> I, I, I know them, and I've never actually heard their name pronounced out loud, so um, if someone knows, feel free to, to let us know. But them taking the bottom left, uh, coming into the crew, welcome in. This has been a very fun race so far. This is a very good level. It's a very creative level, very creative use of the Force Motor Skills mechanic. Uh, good use of a lot of variety. We've had um, the first section, we had some shell stuff. We had like different kind of like jumping combinations. And the second half kind of going a bit differently using cape, using butt slide a little bit. Uh, even Yoshi, like just a variety of mechanics with this, which is really exciting from a race standpoint. Um, even though the, sec the, the level is two sections, um, there's a lot of variety in both sections, and it, it makes for a really exciting race environment to have the players constantly learning different things with a theme of of the mechanic. Hey, GG Light, thanks for uh, thanks for racing tonight. Yeah, GG Light Lines, excellent work. Has just said butt slide. Uh, yeah, we've been talking about the term. butt state all night. Please keep up. Yeah, this is a butt slide based <laughs> race. <laughs> That was a great level. That was a great level for an app. Big GG's to Fern app. Once again, this is their first uh, level in a ROM hack races, and the first time I've seen a level by them uh, as Amp for Amethyst as well. So, uh, excellent showing. Excellent first showing. And hopefully, we will see more from them in the future. So, we have, I'm not sure how many racers are still. We've still got some very talented people in here as we. Try to see who can figure out this end section next. Had a blast with the, this one, Nathan says. It looks like a really fun level. Yeah. Burnout, thanking the playtesters. And once again, there are a lot of people involved with ROM hack races to make these happen every week. That involves playtesters making sure that the levels are are where they need to be for the race environment, people working behind the scenes with restreaming and scouting, um, yeah. along with... Oh, go on. sorry, go on. Oh, no, you finished your thought. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was long with, um, once again, a big thanks to Glitchcat for reaching out to us to help fill in for him for this week, so we really appreciate the opportunity and uh, have fun. 
Yeah, I was gonna just shout out the playtesters once more. Uh, shout out to Moat and Kerr, SQL, the Thrillinger, Dark Nine Shoujo, and uh, RB Pinlico. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. Is this regular motor skills? No. So in this level, the mechanic is a play on motor skills where instead of having manual control over your jump types uh, changing, every time you jump, you switch to the opposite uh, jump type. So if you jump on a Paragoomba, you're next, you'll be in the spin state. If you were to land on a, a saw at that point, you'd be back into the normal jump state. Uh, so that mechanic, along with somewhat puzzly uh, obstacles, has led to a really interesting level that's a, a refreshing take on, on the swapping jump type archetype uh, level design. Whoa, having fun. I don't know about that. Whoa, we got the fun police. Watch out. <laughs> Didn't need much time to get to it. The playtesters are talented and level designers are getting more and more talented. They're already extremely talented. The, the skill ceiling of, of the SMW community, not just in the player base, but in like the creatives of the the community and the, the skilled and the tech knowledge of the community is just like through the roof, so. It's incredible. We've really come a long way uh, in the past couple years, especially. It's yeah. It's been really nice to, to be around for. With this and the recent uh, SGDQ 2022 relay race, which was honestly mind blowing, um, the there are just so many good things and interesting things happening right now in it's the really, Mario Maker uh, adjacent fan community. <laughs> <laughs> I played the um, the previous uh, relay race level immediately after the uh, uh, after playing the uh, the most recent one. It's really striking how much, one, how much more difficult the, uh, oh, Walking Eye. Of course, as soon as I start a conversation, Walking Eye gets to clear. Yeah, we need to just talk <laughs> more and just let them do their thing, because they apparently do much better. So congratulations <laughs> to Walking Eye for getting out of there. Big GG's. Apparently, we just need to talk and not actually address anything here. And yeah, GG. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're just going to have a nice conversation so we don't have comic <laughs> first. I am at this. How's your day going? It was good. I was just. I was just saying that uh, it's really striking, one, how much more difficult the level this year was. and The uh, SGDQ. Yeah, oh my gosh, it was so much more difficult than uh, the, the previous one before that. And two, yeah. just like the amount of cre uh, like how complex and creative the levels have gotten over the years is really, really cool to see. Yeah, when preparing for commentation for the SGDQ relay, I, I rewatched the 2019, and there really is a striking difference in uh, just level design and, and everything with the 2022 that really has come a long way. The skill ceiling of players is much higher and you can see that in the level design of the 2022 relay. It's just really interesting watching the the community like evolve over over the years. It's been really cool being here the entire time and, uh, and seeing how, uh, how big and talented the community has gotten. Yeah, uh, Gigi, Gigi Walking Eye. Thank you so much you for raising tonight. Uh, with uh, Walking Eye having uh, successfully gone through the level, we have Endless Ascent in the upper right now. Um, going through the uh, Disco Shell section currently. So once again, I'm seeing some follows in chat. If this is your first time seeing this uh, and you're interested, make sure you uh, you check out maybe rawhackraces.com and if you're interested in playing them, that all of the levels are available right now. Uh, there's a massive backlog of almost 200 levels uh, for you to check out with various different skill difficulties. Uh, so you can go a bit more chill, you can maybe push yourself, you can do whatever you want, uh, but they are all available for you. Yeah, it'll be four, four years for me this fall, which is uh, a fake number, frankly. Yeah, <laughs> I've been in the community for going on three and a half ish yeah. and in the three and a half years it's it's there's i like you can clearly see looking back at the massive evolution in player skill level design philosophies and uh, tools the the various like mechanics we have available like you really don't know what you're going to get in uh smw rom hack anymore and the beautiful thing about that is at this point 
there is a ROM hack and a creator for literally everybody. Like you can have the type of levels that you want and someone makes them. There's just so much variety and creativity now. Yeah, there's just like a ton of hacks and yeah. there's a bunch of different genres nowadays. So it's just like, like every... Kaizo isn't just like one thing anymore, which is really cool. Right, there's lots of Kaizo, there's lots of standard, there's troll hacks, there's there's all kinds of Mario content for you that's just ripe and ready for the picking due to the thing to due to the hard work of people who do this out of out of their passion and love of of Mario, the Mario World engine and and just wanting to be a creative individual. It's just really it's, it's nice to see people like kind of doing what they want to do with this game and and the, the genre that's evolved over the years and just making something really interesting and special. Specific types. Start... Yeah, I know I yeah. have specific types of Kaizo that I like personally. Absolutely, and, and I, think I think that's there's... a good thing. Yeah, there's like a lot of really cool stuff that's not necessarily for me, but there's definitely stuff out That's definitely stuff out there for someone else. Yeah, and like, exactly. Like you have, there's, there's flavors of Kaizo now, which is incredible to think about and it's that won't happen like the last few years basically to some degree uh there's just so many different hacks and you can really play whatever you like well that's because you're sick of dark nine and that's okay yeah, get your <laughs> get our sickos out in chat there we go specific type of kaizo i enjoy is the spectator kind and that's a great point there's a lot of people who just like watching uh, Kaizo because it's just fun and chill and it's just a good time. It's like there's really something for everyone and even spectators have their own types of Kaizo that they like to watch. Yeah, your sickos out in chat if you got them. <laughs> Alright, we got End of Games is going for the, the final section in the bottom left of Agaria. Uh, in the preview pipe. Oh, it, actually, never mind. They don't have the Yoshi, so they're not going to be able to get through this, but they are just kind of taking a look ahead of what they're going to have, which is a smart move. Even if you can't make it through the level, like you know you can't beat it, um, it's still a smart idea in a race setting. If you don't know what's ahead and you have the opportunity to try to see what's ahead so you can plan for the next time that you can try to make it through. Dark Knight makes a good point, saying that there's also humor that works really well, and that's true. Uh, the SMW community and the Kaizo community has a very uh, eclectic sense of humor. <laughs> that, that is the most diplomatic way you could have said that. I'm very proud of you. It's very, thank you. It's very eclectic. <laughs> They've, they've got their flavors of humor as well. And you know what? I think that's beautiful. Played a, played a ROM hack last night, a new hack that came out um, named Super Flash World. Uh, shout out to Skags for that. You should go play it. Um, with, I'm not going to spoil it, but tr with trolls that genuinely made me laugh out loud, and you really will enjoy it too. Oh. So. The I need humor, to play that on Monday. <laughs> you'll have a good time. Yes. <laughs> but there are there are aspects of the Kai's community and the eclectic nature of their humor that is just gut busting funny. What was the name of the hack? It was Super Flash World by Skags. It's uh, brand new. Came out a couple days ago. Highly recommend. Just played it myself. Speaking of sick, oh, Nitro, Nitrogen's uh, Cursed Experiments.SMC was an absolute delight to play, yeah. I didn't play that myself, but I did watch it, and it was very interesting. Uh, <laughs> currently C3, and there's a lot of, of great things coming out uh, from creators. It was cursed in a way that really, uh, really spoke to me. It was very nice. <laughs> and in, the, in the SMW community, you, you might hear the term cursed a lot, and it's usually a sign of love. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
to refer to something complimentary. <laughs> it's it's complimentary to the eclectic humor of the show. <laughs> for the Mario Maker Jason fan games. Yes. Yeah. Margot rated as standard very sickos. Yeah, I mean that tracks. That sounds like Margot. Yossi here, getting the preview pipe. Yeah, in the top right, let's see if they can figure out this uh, double bop. Once again, going for the double preview, which is just a smart move. Triple preview, you know, they're going crazy. In the Kaiser community, we don't say I love you. We say, this setup is cursed, and I think that's beautiful. Me too. That's, that's pretty much like <laughs> the number one way you can describe community. You say this is cursed and then you leave a smiley face. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Endless gets it. They unfortunately go for the double or the single bop. Yeah, get your smilers out in chat. 255 <laughs> glitch the preview pipe, Dark and I says. For those of you uh, new who might not know, if you go into. There's, there's a variety of ways that can happen, but in this instance, going through the pipe. Uh, 255 times on the 256 uh, might lead to interesting uh, situations. Um, I don't think any racers are going to take the time to do that, as it would take, you know, many minutes. But I like the attitude. I like the style. Dark and I confirm it doesn't work, but you could. It's the thought that counts. And I'm going to guess that that means that you checked Dark and I. As all good playtesters would, but not just because of good playtesting, but because it's fun. Preview pipes don't increase the counter. I didn't think they did, but I wasn't sure, so thank you for that confirmation. Endless. Still puzzling out what to do here. It's less the pipe and more going to a new sub-level. I was under the impression that there might be a few other ways that you can make that work, but as far as I knew, definitely going to a new sub-level was like the main way to do it. So that's good confirmation. Endless going for the, hopefully, the double bounce. I'm still quite, not quite sure what to do there. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Yeah, it's just, it's just a weird, not, not weird, but it's a, it's, un, like, it's unintuitive because you haven't had the opportunity to use Yoshi in, in that way yet. So that end obstacle really kind of like, um, forces the player to stop and think, which is a interesting way to do it because the player does have the ability to just stop. They don't have to like do it on the fly. They can sit there, they have a preview pipe, they can really sit and think about what they need to do. Um, but once again, even just sitting there thinking you haven't had the opportunity to mess with Yoshi in that way. And it's, as you can see from the race, that it's definitely tripping up the majority of racers. Yeah. And you're figuring out what to, uh, trying to figure out what to do with that last jump as well. Yeah. So, so far been a very fun race. Uh, if you're interested in making a race level yourself, uh, feel free to. The ROM hack race base ROM is available on GitHub. I'm sure that there are links available um, in chat with some commands. And also, if you would like to get involved with that, there is the ROM hack races Discord server, which you can join, which has uh, all the information you can ever need, talented people to help you along with your level creation journey. Yeah, so feel free to hop into the Discord and uh, take a look at the GitHub with uh, the commands currently in chat. If there's one thing that I think indicates how much the community's changed over the past two two years, it's that there's a freaking GitHub for this now. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I I didn't know that until yesterday, and I kind of like had a little bit of I kind of like snorted mildly. You know that that when you have like a little bit of air come yeah, out of your nose because is... it's just like it's humorous. It's kind of, it made me like a mild a sensible chuckle. Yeah, sensible it, it chuckle. was it was a mild chortle. Like I wasn't like at a laugh. I wasn't like watching a comedian, but I was like, that's that's interesting. <laughs> that's the first time I've, I've I've seen that GitHub, so that is my Same. live reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Professionals. Professionals. 
I thought this was amateur. We're gonna kick out of the Olympics, y'all. Please. So let's take a look at Endless in the top right. They're going for the end part. Let's see if they go for the double bop. Do they know if it's Saturday or Sunday? You can only do double bops on a Saturday. <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, they're going for some kind of sweet move, but unfortunately it did lead to the loss of Yoshi. But don't worry, because Yoshi despawned and didn't die. They'll be fine. Yeah, Yoshi's fine. Mario's Yoshi's dead, fine. Though. Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi's fine. For now. <laughs> it's like mattresses and stuff. Arcanine says, the best part about being a scout slash timer is doing neither of those things and polluting chat instead. <laughs> and that's why I'm commentating. We got it from both angles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine actually racing, please. Who do you think I am? Someone who plays video games? Why race when I can say words like the? Mm -hmm. Moderates video games? Shoot, you're right. Gotta finish that, gotta finish that Roberto Zampari hack on Monday. <laughs> I like how um, scrolling through Twitter and seeing a clip from Amethyst underscore rocks at Twitch.tv um, and seeing her playing a Mario game and seeing the type of creations on screen and I immediately go, hey, that's Roberto Zampari. I recognize this. It's always nice when creators have a trademark, right? And sometimes yeah. the trademark is, uh... Meme poison. Let's call it that. <laughs> Eclectic. <laughs> Eclectic, yeah. Thank you. Uh, it, it is interesting, though, playing uh, SMW for longer periods of time, and you start to pick up on uh, level designers, like, level design style, like, either graphically or mechanically or whatever. Like you can you can definitely start to notice a creator, even if you don't know it's them. Like especially through like some creators have very distinct palettes that they use, some have very distinct like in eclectic choices in boss designs or what have you. <laughs> Sometimes you know from a face they put into a wall. And that's correct, because uh, watching the restream early before I went live, I did see Halcyon playing a level by Fire150, whom I messaged on Discord and said, Hey, I saw your level being played, and I knew that was you immediately because you drew a face in the wall. <laughs> True story. If the level is purple and has a cape, it's a PK level, especially if it has music from that one Super Nintendo game that never came out in America, which I can't remember the name of. You know, the BK theme song. Oh, uh, Tower of Heaven. Remember. Is that it? Tower of Heaven? Tower of Heaven, thank you. <laughs> Babbly Sharp, thanks, Dan. Babbly <laughs> Sharp. Get your Babbly Sharps out in chat. <laughs> Babbly hashtag, thank you. <laughs> Tower of Heaven is a flash game. Oh, was it a Flash game? There was a Super Nintendo game that never came out in America. Oh, I guess that was the last Bible. Yeah, I'm getting the two mixed up. You're right. Tower of Heaven is the Flash game that BK uses me to drum in. Uh, the last Bible is is a is a unreleased or a unreleased in America RPG SNES that uses uh, that has a lot of music that people like to use in ROM hacks as well. The last Tower of Heaven three. Thank you, Dark. <laughs> Really know how to come through for someone. <laughs> Rehired Myth Kez. No thanks. Yeah, Myth hosting uh, Last Bible 3 OST with the Underworld Force, the the uh, the theme of SMW. <laughs> or what was it that VK had you say it at GDQ? Oh, uh, the SMWC National Anthem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Endless Ascent figured out. Once again, while we're not talking about levels, I see that's the be clear there. Yeah, we're, we we don't want to talk about the racers themselves because that curses them. So congratulations, Endless, for taking the clear, knowing that we weren't talking about the game itself. Uh, really smart move. <laughs> uh, so 
big congratulations with Silent Snake coming in to take their place on the top right. So welcome on in. Motor skills. This is a forced motor skills. Uh, LaForge, the, the jump type changes whenever you jump. Or not when you jump, but when you jump off of an object. Or sprite. Sorry. You know what I mean. Sprite you check. Know, you're, you're doing pretty well for this game, the first day that you spoke English. I'm proud of you. Yeah, for being my first day ever speaking the English language, you know, it's not bad. Darkenine saying that these are the final four racers of the night, so let's give it up for Ender, Agaria, Silent Snake, and Proto Pizza doing an excellent job here. With everyone working on this final section, and once again, this final section is is not easy. It's fairly complicated. There's some very puzzly stuff in this, and everyone's doing an excellent job. Yes, you're doing well for first time commentating. Thank you. For the first time ever using your mouth to make sounds, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, for my first time ever seeing <laughs> SMW, actually. Wow. I'm I'm really picking nice this first for you. Yeah, yeah it's you. really good. It's always because it's for. This is my first stream. Yeah. It's my first stream. This is my first time speaking. This is the first time that uh, he's been on the World Wide Web. Proud of him. Wait, what's the World Wide Web? Oh, you're on it right now. Oh my. Really? Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. I'm glad, I'm glad you finally got that uh, 1,500 hours uh, AOL CD I sent you. It took a long time for him to ship. I had to get like a zip drive and or floppy <laughs> drive, whatever, because that's how they sent it to me. It's awkward. <laughs> I had to build my own modem. Dang. Well, it was my first day with hands, too, so that was really <laughs> difficult to do. Did a, you did a lot of work to get uh, to get on commentary tonight. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice that they they asked me like 30 years in advance. <laughs> they made a lot of time to get this going. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe I'm never gonna be allowed. To <laughs> oh god! So once again, thank you. You'll never see me after this. <laughs> Is the World Wide Web Spider Dance? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, it's actually mandated. It's legally required. This is definitely a tough section. You know, I'm, and once again, I'm going to keep saying I'm. If I was racing, I would be a, uh, I, I would be not smart on some of these. And yeah, so same. big shout outs to people <laughs> taking, uh, taking this level up. It's hard to figure out things in pressure. Sure. It really is. And that's one thing to, to make sure we point out is, um, you know, playing, playing SMW and like either by yourself or on stream or on a race, like there's different amounts of pressure and definitely when you're when you're in a race situation, there can be a lot of pressure either A, to perform well um, to the level that you think that you can and, sh and like, you know you can, um, and to try to maintain your cool and, and to be able to think things through, not let, you know, an accidental death get to you. Uh, just keep forging ahead. It's, a, it's definitely a skill set that takes some forging um, to not get in your head in a race situation and to, to bounce back and to understand what you need to do to get back to where you were it's a it's a journey it's tough and so it's big shout outs to the racers for uh doing this in general silent snake staring into the soul of the spinies is a uh, a method that I like. I really, really enjoyed that one. Oh, but my he gosh. was done staring, and I respect that. And they're doing all sorts of can turnarounds to try oh, to I save want that. I, I, I wanted that so that. bad. I can't even express how much I wanted that to actually be pulled off. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve it. In fact, let's rewind. 
<laughs> Rewind the stream. I'd also like to say that this song in the level is, I think, a, a really good, like, pacing for this. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. It, it's, like, a comfortable song for a level like this, I feel like. And that's another thing that you sometimes might not think about in level design is is choosing either, like, the, the palette, but also, like, the the music choices to go with it, because that can really, like, change the mood and the feel and, and how people go about your level. Um, so I'd just like to point out that this entire level is put together very well, especially, once again, pointing out that this is their first uh, level that I've seen. I, for an app, you might be able to clarify if you've, you've posted other levels before, but... They did clarify that this is their first time in ROM Hack Races, so it's just a really well put together and, and great first showing. This is your firstest level period. Well, we uh, hope that you keep ever. making them. Firstest. <laughs> uh, that's even before first. That's incredible. We got that Patient Zero-esque uh, <laughs> level <laughs> creation. <laughs> Ender back in the cape section. Unfortunately, taking a hit on the, uh, the death block and unable to be able to proceed from there. And once again, another reminder that next week is the 200th ROM hack race level with an alleged creator whom we may or may not know of. Um, and you definitely are going to want to show up for that. Glitch Cat will be back next week for that, and it will be a very exciting uh, race, allegedly. An alleged race level on the alleged day of the week. We are incrementing the number of weeks to the 200, a first in addition. <laughs> no one's ever counted this high before. This is this literally... You. This is a world's first 200 count. No one's ever gotten to 200 before. It's actually incredibly exciting. But you not as exciting as Ender of Games in the bottom right, going for the double bop. Two? Oh, oh they got a double bop. They, they go back. They might not be sure if that's right. They might be just double checking their inputs, it looks like. Make sure that they get all the, the buttons that they need. Yeah, they might be checking to see if... Oh, I... <laughs> Once again, ignoring uh, one screen which allowed them to create the ability to go through as okay. long as Ender. Well, Ender made believe... it, so I don't feel that bad about that. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe Ender got through while we were talking about them. That's actually a ROM hack race week 199 first. So congratulations to Agaria and Ender of Games, both clearing GG, it very close together. Now moving down to uh, the final two runners, Proto Pizza and Silent Snake. I don't know if Ender, I mean, you know. Sometimes you don't need to clear. figure it out. <laughs> Sometimes it clears a clear. You hit that, that big H and you know what? Suddenly nothing else in life really matters. So let's give it up for the final two racers, both Proto Pizza and Silent Snake. Doing great, doing fantastic. A clear is a clear. It doesn't matter how you got it. You know, once you see that course clear, it's freedom. <laughs> Until the next level. In which case, you know, have fun. Yeah. So we're going to be seeing these racers. They, from what I can uh, see, I believe they're both, like, relatively at the same place as well. Um... I'm not sure if Snake has gotten to the final double bop yet, so we'll be very interested in seeing how he deals with um, this obstacle that has given all of the, the vast majority of racers um, uh, issues tonight with with figuring it out. Yeah, looks like Snake's figured out uh, how to butt slide through the through the spines after staring to their souls. So, as you yeah. said, good strat. Yeah. I haven't played Kai's a little over a month. That was a fun return. Well, welcome back to the crew. Welcome back to the jumping. Congratulations again on your clear. Endless.
Nicholas, also in chat, GG, says, I like the preview pipe and opportunity to experiment with Yoshi there at the end without dying. And that is both in agreement with uh, both Anthus and myself. It's a, it's a really nice move, and also with the fact that you can go back into the pipe multiple times, it allows racers as many opportunities as they need to, like, sit, think, and just kind of, like, take a look at the situation so that when they finally take their move, they... They're prepared. They're as, as prepared as they can be, and we'll see what they go from there. Y'all did great tonight. I still really like the double uh, bubble setup, where you very quickly go through different spins. <laughs> Not as bad as it initially looks. Whenever I see two bubbles, I get kind of nervous. Yeah, but. Like Fernap said, it was um, it is custom yeah. to to remove some of the the intricacies of the double Same. bubbles, the eclectic <laughs> intricacies. The e e e eclecticism. <laughs> Inventing new words and new numbers. So many guys, with baby. So many persons. That's just Kaizo. Make a new obstacle, you make a new word, you know, it's a crazy day. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and while we have a moment here to uh, talk once again about uh, shop.romhackraces.com, which is still selling the GDQ merchandise from the SGDQ 2022 relay race um, with the the merchandise designed by the Borgie Man um, for the relay, which is Legends of the Hidden Temple themed, which uh, we came up with the name Legends of the Hidden Flimple. It's all available, and all of the proceeds from that do go to charity. Uh, I believe Doctors Without Borders, much like SGD 2022. Um, I can get clarification from that because I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it will be going to charity. So. And also the designs are hot. You know, you get green, you yeah. get purple, you get whatever animal you want between the two choices. So not really any animal, but wearing the green shirt today. You're wearing green, and I got a purple one, so you know we're yeah. mortal enemies. <laughs> but we already knew that. Yeah, that was already uh, understood. Yeah, plus a sweet poster and and a mask, all done by the Borgia Man in like record time, because they're just insanely talented at art and level design and they're just a good person so big shout outs to them who like really took charge in the development of the SGDQ relay with art design and everything like it really would not have been the same without them and for a lot of reasons so imagine being talented I know I wish L someday literally literally cannot <laughs> I just jump on plants sometimes I don't know <laughs> Sometimes it just makes the Red Clover Man do things. I don't know. Burnout says this was your first level and it was a very slow process. And I think um, as you as you get better in anything, like with level design or any any process really, you definitely start to speed up as you as you start to understand like the program more or your own like thought process on on the creation of something. And I think if you keep it up, you'll eventually see that your level design will speed up, the creation will speed up, and uh, maybe things that seem daunting now might not be as daunting in the future. So definitely keep it up, and excited to see you do some more. This jumps on plants and plays video games. Yeah, it's really sad. Two unrelated things. <laughs> <laughs> not in video games either. I just, like, I really don't like grass. <laughs> Dark and I confirming that it's basically like any other learning is you take time to learn and the learning process itself is really slow. But as you as you start start understanding things, you, you kind of go into autopilot and you speed up for sure. So isn't there a KLDC coming up? Um, I don't know when the next KLDC will be. There will be one eventually. Yeah, heck, grass. No one likes grass. Ugh, green? People keep telling me to touch it. I don't know. 
But the, the two players, Proto Pizza and Sand Snake, are touching grass right now. Look at all this delightful green against the brown. I guess technically Proto Pizza's not, but I don't want this taken away from me. <laughs> oh! I am. These are trying to take that, but unfortunately it was not faded in the cards, but you do love seeing the attempt. I am very surprised for PC to not run the ball. <laughs> Update from Dr. No Hello. saying that KLDC actually starts July 22nd. That shows me for not knowing anything. No. So thank oh, you for I, that update. One would hope that Doc knows that, yeah. <laughs> yes. They are a doctor after all. It does take a lot of work. It's true. What's a KLDC? I can't believe Dark Knight is asking leading questions like this. I'm glad you 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 said that because I was sitting here trying to think of a good acronym for it and I failed. <laughs> oh, titanium is the KLDC. Never mind, we have confirmation. This year I'm gonna have to. Oh, we're <laughs> Oh yes. Uh, but KL Go on. KL KLDC is the uh, Kaizo level design contest. Every other? Is it every other year? Uh, Not every year. Is it every year? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what time is anymore. There was a 2020 uh, and 2021. I don't know. I really do not know what time is anymore, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, time is, is a lie. Don't even worry about it. We just make but, up numbers. But yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just a, a contest run by Super Mario World Central, my employers, who pay me a lot of money, I promise you. Uh... And uh, yep, people will submit their uh, Kaizo levels for uh, for judging the contest. It's usually a good time. Usually. Yes. It's always a good time for the viewer as well. It's a good time for the viewers, yes. It's a great time for the viewer. It's uh, good content. Yeah, SMW Central <laughs> seems to have a contest running usually fairly often. There's, there's just so many different ones that they have. You're getting paid? Wait, I didn't get paid. Oh, shit. Well, anyway, uh, this is fun. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Am I getting bamboozled? <laughs> can't believe this. <laughs> I was offered to pet Malo, and, like, that's a good opportunity, but, like... Dang, that is, uh... I was entering at the top level. Hell yeah. Contest level design contest. 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 <laughs> Super Sonic... Contest level design contest contest saves the world world. Listen, it's it's 6.23 p.m. on a Saturday. I can't comprehend what you're saying right now. <laughs> this, is, this is not the time nor the place for me to be listening to these words. I can't believe I have to do something on a Sunday. Wait, you got offered to pay Mallow? This just occurred to me. I wasn't offered to pay <laughs> Mallow. This is garbage. I'll get wrecked. <laughs> I had the best deal. I, I did this for free. <laughs> I'm like, my SW Central job that I'm very much paid real money for. You're wrecked. I get to pet cats and you don't. <laughs> Dang. I have become the almighty pet catter in the community. <laughs> Bring me your cat emotes so that I may pet them. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Bring forth the cat emote so that we might prosper. Yes. Good. Lots of cat emotes. Good. That's just good cat. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the more cat emotes, the more energy these racers will receive to help them finish the level. So, honestly, you're doing a favor for both me, the uh, professional cat petter of the SMW community, as well as Proto Pizza and Silent Snake, so. For every entry to KLDC, I get paid 100 idle bucks. Dang, how many lesbian worms do you buy for that? It's like 3.2 per. Dang. That's They're worth more than gold. Less like they, some of them have like a little hat. That's incredible. Oh, wow. 
It, it, it takes a lot of work to make a hat for a worm, let me tell you from experience. <laughs> It's like a spirit bomb, but with flukes. Yeah, act absolutely. In, um, in, the in the preview. In the preview. Wait, we shouldn't be talking about Oh, yeah, we got to talk about cats, right? <laughs> Let's talk about cats so that they have an opportunity <laughs> to actually get through this. So cats are great. Um, I like to pet cat. them. Yeah. What's your cat's name? His name is Morsel. No relation. Oh, wow. I love their work. <laughs> Oh, see, we, we, I looked over at Proto Pizza and unfortunately I commentators cursed them, but that's okay. That was Can dogs get a level, a little love too? Yeah, I love, I love peppers. Yeah, like, once I, like I said, this is my last time ever getting a chance to do this, so, um, I'm just taking this opportunity to say that cats are good, dogs are also good, and I'm sorry to Proto Pizza for talking. But Ever. I do think it's a great flavor of pizza, so I think it works out. So, LaForce, what if I told you the humans were animals? <laughs> <laughs> you only like cats, just like dogs? Can we get some dog emotes in chat? Let's yeah. give some love to the dogs. You know, we, got, we got some woofers out there. That one's changed. I mean, fair. At least you're consistent. <laughs> That's fair, but we're still going to give some love to the doggos of the world. Get, get your dogs out. can't believe Twitch isn't letting me send more dog emotes. Is this a dog? <laughs> yes. Ultros is a dog, technically, I think, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Ultros is my favorite dog from the Final Fantasy series. <laughs> Alright. We're going to continue looking at dog emotes so we don't curse Proto Pizza. I wasn't looking. I, I wasn't looking. That's their name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're doing a great job. It's a really, it's a really weird, not not weird. That's the wrong word. It's a, um, it's a, it's a complicated uh, section because it's just like one, like we've said before, you haven't had experience on Yoshi with this mechanic, so you really just need to kind of throw a few Mario's at it and see what happens. And that's the same with a lot of levels where it's like something might not be entirely intuitive and sometimes you just need to throw a Mario or two into the abyss to try to, try to get like a, a grasp of what's going on. Yoshi is a horse with horse flying disorder. That's true actually. That's a verified fact. Yeah, that's you can read lore. about that on Wikipedia. Fangame.yoshi.com A very eclectic adjacent fan game. Yeah. Yes. Amper, I was trying really hard not to make any reference to uh, Baja Men, but thank you for taking that opportunity. <laughs> right now we're going to be sued by the Baja Men. <laughs> I can't believe we're getting DMCA'd by them when we haven't even said anything. They're <laughs> so adjacent. <laughs> Yoshi is a tongue donkey, close relative of the horse. I think that's true, actually. I'm glad people are, are getting. I'm glad people are getting around banned phrases in my chat by saying them in here. <laughs> is that a banned phrase? Yeah, you can't. You can't say tongue donkey in my chat. Thank you, Blue Ribbon, for being so brave. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it's banned too, but it's also <laughs> ROM hack races, baby. It's it crazy. It's chaotic in here. <laughs> I'm gonna start up stream on Monday. I'm gonna have like 30 people attempt to say it. I'm making a new emo called Kez Tongue Donkey. So. <laughs> well, I'm looking for excuse not to give you money. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I was looking for excuse for people not to give me money. is about to ban it. I don't blame them. <laughs> bamboo. Yeah, this is a bamboozle based stream. Once again, this is my last time ever uh, being allowed uh, in the Mario community, so uh, thank you all for, for tonight. Really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun.
nice knowing you. Yeah. I'm not gonna read that sentence out, Marcy, so thank you. <laughs> huh. So. I can't do anything about that. That sucks. No. Well, what I can do <laughs> is tell you that while we while we wait for Proto Pizza and Silent Snake to uh, to get through this level, and once again, they're doing a fantastic job, I'm going to take a nice uh, sip of, of delicious iced tea because today's ROM Hack Race is sponsored by iced tea. And I would like to ask chat, what's your favorite beverage to watch during your ROM Hack races? Is it tea? Is it water? Let us know. This is an important survey for future use, which has no use. I was drinking a V8 Sparkling Energy Steady Energy from Black and Green Tea. Orange that was a lot of words flavor. all at once. There are <laughs> a lot of words on this can of a V8 Energy, yeah. That, that is an extreme amount of words for a beverage. You know what? I respect it. <laughs> favorite beverage to watch? Yeah, what's your favorite beverage to watch, both in ROM Hack races and in your hand while you take a sip? Ah, uh, G Fuel. I also <laughs> love the taste of... <laughs> <laughs> Someone remove that. <laughs> uh, I also, it, I also love worked, the taste of lead. That was beautiful. Plants. Thank you, Amper, because that allowed us to not look at Proto Pizza, which get let them get the win because we didn't curse them with commentary. Thank you, GG to Proto Pizza. They're getting the double bounce. Fantastic work. Da Vinci's famous yellow mustard. Actually, that is a great beverage to have during Romac races. And let's give it up for our final racer, Silent Snake, doing a fantastic job. <laughs> the cursed chat counteracted the cursed commentary. Yeah, it just kind of negated out, and we just have like something beautiful. Yeah, you'll love to see it. Nothing like a good hot cup of mustard. Yeah, normally you might be sponsored by Da Vinci's fancy yellow mustard. Today is is uh, generic. Black iced tea, which I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. And you know, we're getting crazy today, so. That's uh, way less words than I was drinking. Yep. Yeah, I don't even know what order of the words you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to send you a picture of the can afterwards. Please, I, I really am interested. <laughs> All right. Uh, since we have one, since we have uh, one racer left, we're gonna uh, start to. We're going to start to wind down for the night, and uh, yeah. we're going to send y'all over on a raid. Just uh, yep. Silent Snake over here. Yeah, we're going to go uh, give Snake some, uh, our, our, you know, our love. We're going to go wish them the best uh, for the rest of their level. They're doing a great job, and we want to make sure we support them. Uh, so once again, before we head off, just want to say uh, thank you to Glitch Cat, the ROM Hack Race uh, staff team, everyone involved for... Uh, letting Amethyst and I be on a commentary tonight and also for the work that they put into this every week. So big thank you to that. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. And uh, Kez, I am uh, once again uh, grudgingly it, it eclectic was a time. to see you. It yeah. was very eclectic to see you as well. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, make sure you, to races. make sure to go over to uh, Snake, sh share some cat emotes with him. He's a yeah, good go friend. drop your most powerful cat emotes uh, on the raid, and uh, we will see you. And next week, Glitch Cat will be back for the 200th ROM hack race with an alleged creator, so you definitely want to check it out. So thank you very much, and have a great rest of your weekend, and be good to each other. Take care, gamers. Night. Successfully commentated. We did it. <laughs>